Welcome back class, I'm Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. This is Star Wars The Old Republic. We're playing the Warrior's Way, and it's time to explore the transponder ship. Quinn has told us that he can help make this quick and avoid a bunch of extra unnecessary Imperial deaths if we bring him with us, so that's what we're going to do, because we like to make the expedient choice. Assuming we're able to load in here swiftly there we go sorry vet you're the best but quinn says that he's the one who can get us in and then we'll be in like quinn so we got some robots here maybe we should drop by the medical services to drop off our junk and fix up any stuff that might be broken Okay, so Quinn, I'm counting on you here. I'm counting on you to ensure that we don't kill everybody. Here we are. Oh, oh, Quinn, you pr oh, they're droids, okay. No big deal. Oh no, that's not a droid. That's a not droid. What's going on here, Quinn? You made a promise that you have not lived up to. I guess if we disable the elevator, then they won't be able to send more down. That's the theory, at least. Droids, how you doing? Having a good time? Is this the transponder room? It looks more like a trap room to me. If I were to designate this room as anything, it would be trap room. My lord, I regret that our paths must diverge. What? Out of respect, I want to be here to witness your fate. What are you talking about, Quinn? What did you do? What did you do, Quinn, after everything I've done for you? got a bad feeling about this. Your senses have always been keen. It pains me, but this entire scenario is a ruse. What? There's no martial law and no special signal emitter. I knew I should have listened to Pierce. My true master. Oh. He had me lure you here to have you killed. I see. After all we've been through together, I even helped you take out Moff Broisk. You've helped me immensely. I act today with a heavy heart. But without Barris, I'd have no career. I you have a career with me. But he's forced my hand, and I must side with him. You really don't have to. Your crew will either join Barris with me, or be killed. I see. Well... I really thought you were smarter than this. I'll show you how smart I am. After you all time of are probably not going to. I have exhaustively noted your strength. Weaknesses. It's not going to help. These war droids have been programmed specifically to combat you. I calculate a near zero percent chance of their failure. I see. Sounds grim. I know how thorough you are, Quinn. I'm sure this will be my greatest test. And if I'm right, you're last. I'm sorry it's come to this, my lord. Huh. <sighs> Here we go. You should have known better, Quinn. You should have known better. Idiot. Even without a companion. Even without a companion. Went wrong. I calculated precisely. You should be dead. And yet, here I am. Your droids push me. It was a valiant attempt. That's little consolation. I have betrayed you. Conspired with your most hated enemy. Yeah. To mercy. Well, you're not gonna get it. What? None of these options are I'm going to kill you. What?
he betrayed me. Why wouldn't I just... What's with this? The entire story, we've been able to randomly and wantonly murder just random innocent civilians, people who have nothing to do with anything, as dark side choices, but here we just choke them a little? Ugh. I will keep you alive, and we will see if you earn my trust again. My lord, I'm... This is unexpected. Yeah. For me, too. Never forgive such a failure. I shouldn't either. Stay in your charge. My dedication to you will never come into question again. The slate is clean, Quinn. No. This interruption has delayed you enough. I'm eager to return to the ship and put this behind us. We're not putting this behind us. You conspired with my worst enemy to kill me. How are you alive? The ship is through there. Prepare for departure. I'll join you shortly. Of course, my lord. One thing, my lord. Do you plan on telling the others what happened? <sighs> no one else must know. It would compromise your ability to lead. Am I understood? I appreciate it, my lord. I will see you back at the ship. None of those options were yes, I'm going to tell them either. What the hell was that? This story has been amazing so far. And then that shit? That is... What was that? I mean, I know I've been doing some pretty light side stuff, but... Allowing Quinn to live after that? That's beyond the pale. Wow. Wow. I was starting to think that people were overstating this Quinn stuff, but uh, I guess not. What was that? As I mentioned recently, how much I enjoy serving you. I am a lucky droid. Can I kill him now? I'm fielding reports from across Imperial forces. Oh, you're. Just gonna pretend it didn't happen. There's universal relief that Moff Broisk is no more. The rest of the Empire was passive. It sickens me. I was guilty of that for a long time. I feel no conflict over my actions. Really? Broisk was a blight on the Empire. Just, just those ones, eh? To a new paradigm, my lord. One a bit more improvisation. I believe it will only make me a better officer. Move on, Captain. There's work to do. Of course, my lord. A secure message from General Racton. You'll want to hear this. My lord, I received Lieutenant Pierce's call. I reinstated Black Ops and excused the team from their prior assignments. If all the preparations have been made, you have Imperial clearance for your assault on the Bastion. Had a feeling this was it. Hard to believe we're finally making our move. Play the rest. I want Racton's full briefing. Due to the massive Republic presence at the Bastion, we've made special arrangements to get Pierce's team within range. You'll infiltrate a shuttle of Republic reinforcements headed for the area. We've already procured the necessary disguises. Surprise is essential. Therefore, I must ask that you remain behind, my lord. Your presence would expose our plan. I'm sure there's a Republic uniform in my size. They'll have Jedi along. No uniform would hide your power. You made this assault possible, my lord. The credit is yours. Should Pierce and his team succeed, the Empire is trusting Black Ops with our victory. I hope it is not misplaced. General Racton out. The team has their instructions. Have to leave now if I'm going to make the rendezvous. When the Bastion falls, the Republic will know our power. So will the Empire. Just how I like it. Gates open, security's down, and the CO is dead. The Bastion belongs to the Empire. 
Welcome to Black Ops Victory, my lord. Long odds, big prize, no survivors. Black Ops training has its merits. I'll see that you're all rewarded. Look forward to that. The Bastion was no routine assault. Hit a few snags. Tenido's weapons lost power. A couple of Laurent's men died. Arlos tripped a system hacking in. Took a bit of damage myself. Going to take some time to heal. Let you know when I'm up for a full debrief. Okay, and let's see what that has to say. Hey, bud. She found her. She found her. Yay! Her mother was sold to a hut on Tatooine years ago. She works in a small shop there. Let's go. Eva found her, and she's headed to Tatooine already. We need to go meet her as soon as we can. Of course. We'll wrap up what we're doing and make our way to Tatooine. You're the best. Oh, and Tiva sent back not only the credits you spent getting her out of that awful place, but a gift. A sign of respect from her old moth. Ew. Okay, as soon as we can. Tatooine. I wonder what Mother will think of me now. She'll think you're awesome or I'll force choke her to death. I mean, uh... Um... Uh... We'll have a polite conversation. Alright, Tatooine. From a distant outer rim. No, that's Hoth. Let's see what awaits us. At Dita's shop. Dita Von Teese. Gonna be there somewhere. Alright, here we are back at this gross old rock. I'm excited to see what awaits us down there. Oop, oop, oop. I'm excited to get stuck on that doorway for the fifth time. Tatooine and its moon. Tatmuin. I'm sure that moon has a name. Let's see. Do, 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 Tatooine Moon. It has three moons. Oh, right, yeah. <clears throat> Is he going to tell me what they're called? Its suns are Tattoo 1 and Tattoo 2. And the moons are Gomrasan, Guermesa, and Chanini. I wonder which one that was. Or maybe since this time... Uh, you're never coming anywhere with me ever again, Malavai Quinn. Unless it's to your death. Hey. Oh, you're here already. I just wanted to check something here. Don't panic. These look better. No, mm, not quite what I wanted. Huh. You know, I do actually like that better. Alright. Sorry, Vet. You can have your pants back now. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. So, where is Dita's shop? Right there, apparently. So, down by Moss Isla. We'll have to go outside before we can travel there, I guess. Does this thing have a flourish? Nope. <sighs> Dita's shop, down in Moss Isla. I wonder... Hopefully it's not too far, though, because, I mean, we do need to get back to Corellia at some point. There's there's some things happening there that may be worth uh, checking out. 
you know, wrong way again. I'll get the hang of it eventually. As you can hear, since I recorded the first half of this episode, I have, of course, gotten a cold. Because, obviously, I would, right at the end of my master's degree, get a cold before my big presentation. Obviously. Old fatty. Okay. Just got my ship. I love winding up old fatty. Okay. Good on you, T'Challa. Keep up the good work. So where's this shop? It's just over here, eh? Okay. That's not far. I should dismount so that we make a better impression. Oh, come on, don't be dead. After all this time, to miss her by days. Are you kidding me? My condolences, ladies. I can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. Sifa hatched fully grown from an egg. Happened? Ask him. It's his place, apparently. Hmm. She doesn't look that old. What killed her? Moja do Chaluka. Kunachi do Nikki Toki. Saya tupi nu abiti. They still work, believe me. You survive long enough to be thrown away. Twenty hours. <sighs> An old woman deserves her dignity. Even a slave. Did she just blink? Go rewind there and tell me if she blinked. Okay. Well, I'm sure we can pay for a ceremony. Here are some credits. Tell Weddell's man I've paid for your time. Go to town and arrange the funeral. I can pay for this. It's the least I can do. No, this is a family affair. And you've done too much for us already. Go. Okay. <sighs> Twi'lex and slavery. Go together like a horse and carriage. That was a lovely service. Still, I can't come to terms with it. What? The fact that our mother was worked to death by a fat hut who's somewhere laughing about it right now? There's an obvious solution to this problem. You'll feel better once the hut lies dead at your feet. It's okay, I've got a lightsaber. And Vet's good at doors and locks. I don't know you, Tila. You want to go just shoot this hut in the face? Sometimes the only way to erase an injustice is to erase the person who committed it. If you think it's the right thing to do, of course it's the right thing to do. Come on. Don't worry. We won't be long. It's a Sith code, you know, man. Vengeance. My mop is going to be worried. I'll see you two later. Better times. Bye, Tiva. Maybe rethink that rouge. Let's just go. Please. No talking. Hey, you know, grief takes time. Back up to the ship we go. You know, it's not that far. We'll just take the Uxie Beast back over. It's not that far. You can't make me do that. You can't make me do anything. I'm a Sith. Which way was it? Other way. And it's the closer one. Here we go. There's an angry cat outside. I don't know if you heard it. Do 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 Is this foreboding music really necessary? It was a pretty straightforward interaction. Ah, 
<sighs> Let's get off Tatooine and never come back again, please. Goodbye, Moss Isla. You will not be missed, you wretched hive of scum and villainy. <sighs> Conversation rolls. Haven't had to do one of those in a while. Because we never team up. Never team up. Never surrender. I keep seeing that hut's face. And the blood, and the bodies on the floor, and Tiva's eyes. Gives you warm, fuzzy feelings, so right? Low, and I can't help blaming you. Okay. I should have known it would affect you this way. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, well, done is done, I guess. Anyway, whatever. Let's just keep some space between us for a while, okay? <sighs> Did she forget I was a Sith? Maybe she forgot I was a Sith. All right. So, when we return, we're going to go to Corellia. So until then, all the best.